Hey everybody, King Corfish here. As you all know, another E3 has come and gone. The one thing different about E3 2014 is the fact that we had a lot of Pokemon, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire news. I made up a compilation of all the news, as well as some speculations. This may be a bit long of a video, so, but stick around for a lot of fun. Here's the very first video out of all of the E3 news of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This is the official trailer, completely unedited, so I'll see you in a moment after it's done. What I really like about this trailer is how it starts off as an action movie, of the artwork of Primal Kyogre and Groudon coming to life out of the cave wall. Oh yeah, by the way, Primal Kyogre and Groudon have been confirmed. Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon are obtained through a process called Primal Reversion, which channels the Pokémon's original power. It's hinted there may be a connection between this and Mega Evolution. After that, we see some gameplay footage of your starter selection screen, very similar to the one from X and Y. We then see Brandon throwing out a Pokeball against a wild Zigzagoon. I'm assuming that this is your first battle of pro where Professor Birch gets chased off by it. I may be wrong, but oh man do I want to see a big jiggly Birch run in circles in 3D. We then see a Torchic coming out of its Pokeball in, a, in front of a volcano. Not sure where this is being taken place. And then we see Mudkip coming out of its Pokeball in front of what looks to be Duford Town. Now we see Roxanne's challenging screen, which looks awesome. I love this badge's model and how it spins. It looks beautiful. You can also tell that Roxanne has been worked around with a little bit. And she now has eyebrows. You now see Route 104 and the boat ride from Briny. And you can even see Pico flying high in the sky too. Now we see what we've been waiting for since May 7th. Fortree City in 3D. It looks amazing. So excited for that. Here we see Route 10. And here I'm not entirely sure what this is. I'm thinking it's Tate and Lisa's gym. But don't count on me for that one. Right here is what looks to be Team Aqua's hideout. Looks really great in my opinion. A little bit different than the originals. Nice trap door there. And here is that text from Steven from the Koro Koro leaks that I just could not read for the life of me. It now reads, Mega Evolution is a phenomenon that has long been shrouded in mystery. Anyone else realize that his name is Steven Stone? And how he's specializing in Mega Stones? Kwe kwe. Here we see Team Aqua and Magma's hideouts in their respective versions. Again, looks really cool. Here we see Maxi and Archie's challenge screen. It looks a bit of a stretch and it's a bit hard to tell, but here on Maxi's glasses you can kind of see a sort of techno looking thing. What I think this is, is an item called Mega Glasses. Yeah, you heard it right guys. I'm thinking that Maxi is going to have the power of Mega Evolution through his glasses. 
But that's not all. If you look closely at Archie's necklace, you can see an LED or something of this sort. I'm thinking that Archie is also going to be holding the power of Mega Evolution. Mega Camera up and Sharpedo, anyone? And here we see May and Brandon using their Mega Wristbands. In case it wasn't obvious, Mega Evolution is making a comeback. So now the story is definitely changed since 2003. And as we didn't know it already, here's the Me Hoenn Mega Evolutions. We're finally seeing some animations of their newfound appearance. But I think this is a much better interpretation of Mega Swamper. <laughs> Here you can see Sceptile shooting off his Christmas tree tail. Much like a lizard. The Christmas tree regens, by the way. Here we see a fire type move from the already released Mega Blaziken, and here's a water type attack from Mega Swamper. Now we get to see some awesome primal action. Here's Primal Groudon and Primal Swamper. Looks awesome. And what's this? A release date? Yes, that's right. This game is officially being released on November 21st, 2014. Be prepared. Next up we have Mega Sableye. Here's a look at the official trailer. Just a question. What is this thing? It's like this guy and this guy got together, did some stuff, and out came this. I mean, giant rupee shield Nintendo. God, this is awkward. <laughs> In all seriousness, this thing looks really cool. I'm highly considering using one. And you can get Mega Sableye right off of Duford Town and Granite Cave. Instant second gym win. Here is all that has been said about this new Mega. Sableye is a dark and ghost type Pokemon. Mega Sableye has concentrated all of the energy from Mega Evolution into the jewel which adorns its chest. Once Sableye has Mega Evolved, this jewel will swell and become detached from his body. Mega Sableye uses the jewel as a powerful defense tool in battle. From behind the shelter of the jewel, it can readily exploit the opponent's weaknesses and take advantage of any openings. It is said that the jewel hardens into such strength that no attack can even make a scratch. Sableye's ability has not yet been confirmed, however, seeing as how it now has a giant Braum rupee shield, I wouldn't be too surprised to see its defense stat get raised by quite a lot. The last thing that we have up for all the E3 news this year involves actually the most gameplay that we've ever seen out of an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video yet. Here's the official trailer.
First off, we see Briny and Pico driving you on their boat again. Looks really well done. I love this cutscene. And now we're looking at Brandon and May looking at some flying beautiflies. I'm expecting this to be a cutscene when you first encounter Petalberg Woods. I may be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Here we see May riding on a bike up a mudslide in a cave. I was originally going to say that this is probably Granite Cave, but you don't own the bike at this point in the game. So I'm actually speculating this to be Victory Road. Chances are I'm probably really far off with this prediction, but hey, I just want to put that out there. Here we see some really cool acro bike action. Looks like a lot of fun. And right here we see May talking to you. I'm expecting this to be on Route 103 when you battle your rival for the very first time. Now we see your starter selection screen again. Looks like it was modeled after the starter selection screen in X and Y. Right here we see the words grass type Pokemon Trico and a picture of Trico. This probably doesn't look like much but at first. However, I personally think that this specific screen is very important. We are now witnessing the brand new Sigamori art for Trico. It looks awesome. And now we see Trico using what I think is Absorb on a Mudkip. Looks really nice. And here we see the evolutionary line of the grass type Hoenn starter. What I don't understand is how they just released the new Sigamori art a few seconds ago, and now they're just going back to Trico's old design. Just, just seems kind of weird to me. And now we're seeing some footage of Mega Sceptile once again. Looks practically the same as before. Right here we see the awesome new Sigamori art for Torchic, the fire type starter Pokemon. Looks awesome. Good job, Sigamori. Here's Torchic using a fire type attack on Trico. Looks like it could be Ember, but I'm not entirely sure to be bluntly honest. And here's Torchic's evolutionary line with, surprise surprise, the old Sigamori art. This is seriously just confusing to me. And now we're seeing some footage of Mega Blaziken. Nothing new here. Now we're looking at the new artwork for Mudkip. This is my favorite out of all the new designs yet. And here's some footage of Mudkip using what appears to be Water Gun on a Torchic. Here's the evolutionary line of Mudkip. <sighs> Old Sycamore art. And now we're looking at the new Mega Swamper. Looks awesome, but again, there's nothing new here. Now we're looking at the challenging screen of Team Aqua and Magma Grunts. Their specific genders, of course. It looks awesome. And here we're getting another look of the awesome design of Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. We still don't really know what the heck Primal stuff is. Here's Primal Groudon using a highly powerful ground type move on a Blaziken. And here's Primal Kyogre using a highly powerful water type move on a Swamper. And now we're seeing the new Mega Diancy. To be completely honest, I honestly don't care about this. Right now we're looking at Mega Diancy using Dazzling Gleam, which looks really cool. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click right here to subscribe to my channel and be notified whenever new videos come out. You can also make sure to like this video if you liked it, and make sure to also follow me on Twitter. Thank you for doing all three of those things if you have. If not, thanks for watching this video in general. High five to you. So again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.